Hola, hola, muy buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Excellent, Yvette. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, so that's good that you're using the, the vocabulary that we learned on Friday. So what about your weekend? How was it? How was your weekend? Good, so, so, happy. How good. was it? Okay, so good. And yours, Marco? Um, uh, happy, I'm a guess. Okay, it was good. Okay, so, and yours, Brian? I really, I do, I don't do nothing. I okay. only sleep and watch much and TV series and a new, a new movie, Netflix, that I love it. Okay, that's cool. Okay, Brian, that is really nice. And you, Irvin? Fine, teacher. Okay, it was fine. Okay, perfect. Okay, so guys, today we are going to start with our class. And let's see. Well, the first thing that we are going to mention is the quote of the day, which is the quote of the day. Today, Irvin is going to help us reading the quote. Help us, Irvin, to read it. Okay. Gold sentence is the secret to a compelling future. Future. Okay. Thank you. So goal setting is the secret to a compelling future. Okay. El establecimiento de metas es el secreto para qué? Para un futuro convincente. Okay. So goal setting. Todas las metas que ustedes tienen les van a servir para un futuro convincente. Un futuro excelente. Okay. Okay, Tanya. All right, so let's move. Okay, let's move. And today, okay, we are going to learn new vocabulary. So the question is, how are you feeling today? How, how are you feeling today? We have different adjectives right there. And how can we answer? We can answer, I am feeling happy. I am feeling Proud. I am feeling frustrated. I am feeling confident. I am feeling indifferent. I am feeling determined. I am feeling disappointed. I am feeling thoughtful. I am feeling surprised. I am feeling optimistic. I am feeling annoyed. I am feeling pessimistic. So now let me ask you, how are you feeling today? How? From those adjectives that we have right here, how are you feeling? I feel happy. Okay. Okay. What about the other ones? Hi, Jocelyn. Good to see you. Bienvenida, Jocelyn. Gusto de verla ya mejor. Hi. Gracias. Okay. Very good. All right, so how are you feeling today? Yeah. I'm happy. You are happy. Very good. Yeah. And you, Jose? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Hi, good morning. Good evening. I am uh, happy. You're happy as well? Okay. So then adjectives, okay, adjectives. So just for you to remember, we are going to just mention once again, homework and evaluation, okay? Don't forget about this, que no se les olviden las tareas, okay? Todas, recuerden que para eh, esta semana tenemos que terminar tarea eh, cuatro y cinco, okay? La semana anterior teníamos que haber terminado homework one, homework two, and homework three. Tres tareas. Okay, uh, just a friendly reminder, okay? You already know about Zoom. 
ya sabemos de Zoom, ¿verdad? Camarita encendida, su nombre completo. Y bueno, ya sabemos pues las, eh, las diferentes reglas. Then, once again, we are week two. Estamos en la semana dos. Week two. Ok. So, this week, esa semana va a ser, eh, básicamente vamos a terminar la sección uno. Pero también vamos a empezar la sección 2 y el midterm. O sea que va a estar un poquito, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a tener bastante trabajo. ¿Ok? Pero eh, vamos a aprender bastante de igual manera. So we are going to learn a lot. And today's agenda, we have the warm up. Then we have possessive nouns or possessive adjectives. That is the topic for today. We have grammar. Speaking, of course, writing, and the wrap up, the end of the class. Okay, so remember that at 820 we are going to take the attendance. Okay, just for you to recall what we cover on Friday vocabulary, right? If you don't know how to say something, si no sabe cómo decir algo, how do you say la palabra que no sabe? For example, how do you say almohada? in English teacher, okay, para empezar a, a usar el idioma. How do you say casa in English? How do you say compañero in English, etc. Can you speak more slowly? Puedes hablar más lento, please, por favor. Okay, si usted siente que yo le hablo muy rápido, can you speak more slowly, please? Okay, then how do you spell? Como deletrea. Ahora vamos a tener deletreo. Okay. When you have a question, teacher, I have a question. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Tengo una pregunta. Tengo una duda. Excuse me. Can you repeat that, please? Lo siento. Disculpe. ¿Puede repetir de nuevo, por favor? Can you repeat that, please? And what does... La palabra en inglés, como usted la pueda pronunciar. For example, what does speak mean? O oh, speak means hablar. Yo le doy el significado en español. Pero usted me tiene que preguntar en inglés qué significa tal palabra. Ok. Then, just for you to recall, greetings, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Good night. Once we are done and we go to sleep, okay? But very good because you used good evening at yeah, the beginning. Lo utilizaron esta, así que lo felicito, okay? Congratulations. All right, so let's start with the warm-up and we are going to start with find the mistake. Find the mistake. Okay, so what was mistake? ¿Qué era mistake, dijimos? Do you remember? Now? I no remember. No, you don't. Okay, so mistake means error. Okay, find the mistake. Encontrar el error. Find es un verbo. It's a verb. Okay, that means encontrar. And mistake is error. Entonces, encontrar el error. Let's see. Number one, which is the mistake? On number one, who can tell us? Mm -hmm. R. R. Why? Why R? Um, My boss is friendly. My boss friendly. is friendly. Yes. Very good. Okay. What about number, number two? two? Which uh, is the Marcos mistake? And Sandra is Sería are creative. Okay, perfect. So creative. Okay, creative. Repeat after me and say creative. 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 Okay, yes, creative. Everybody, okay? Remember, it is creative. What is the meaning of creative? Creativo. And friendly? Amigable. So if you want to say, yo soy amigable, teacher. I am friendly. Okay? And if you want to say, teacher, yo soy creativo. I am creative. Okay, number three, which is the mistake? 
The correct forms uh, was <clears throat> there, there, not. Thirsty. Okay, but what is the mistake right there, Brian? The apostrophe. Okay, the apostrophe. Okay, the apostrophe. Very good. So where should it go? Where? After what? Uh -huh. After which letter should the apostrophe go? Después de qué letra debe de ir el apostrofe? Uh -huh. De la R. Okay, after R. After R or before R? Aha. Where? Jose, do you remember? And before? Before, right? Before R. Remember that before is antes and after is um, después. Okay? So, no va después de la R. Va antes. Entonces sería before R. Okay? But very good, Tanya. Okay? So then, number four. Oh, but let me, let me tell you what is the meaning of thirsty. What is the meaning of thirsty? Thirsty means sediento. Sediento. Ok, so they're not thirsty, ellos no están sedientos o ellos no tienen sed. Cuando usted dice, teacher, tengo sed. Teacher, I am thirsty. Ok, number four. Which is the mistake? Are you angry? Are you angry? Very good. It should be are. Okay, so we use is for which pronouns? Which pronouns? With is. Mm -hmm. ¿Con qué pronombres? Utilizamos is. She, 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 and it. And R? You, 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 they, 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 we, we, very good, yes, okay, excellent, all right, so let's, um, and we have vocabulary, in this image, we have vocabulary, how do you say, how do you say botella con agua, bottle of water, bottle of water, I want, yo quiero, I want a bottle of water because I am thirsty. I want a bottle of water because I am thirsty. Y ella tiene una oración, mire. Yo quiero una botella con agua porque estoy sediento. Because, porque estoy sediento. Fingers, dedos, fingers, okay, mano, hand, okay, hand, brazo, arm, okay, vocabulary, All right, so then today we are going to learn about possessive adjectives, possessive adjectives. So as you can see right here, como puede ver aquí, as you can see right here, we have it's, her, his, are, my, their, your. Okay, this is just an image. We are going to cover one by one right now. So we have possessive adjectives and we have subject pronouns, as you can see right here, on your left, a tu izquierda, on your left, you see Subject pronouns, okay? A su izquierdo se ve subject pronouns. On your right, a su derecha, on your right, you see possessive adjectives. So, subject pronoun I, 
possessive adjective my. Subject pronoun he, possessive adjective his. Subject pronoun she, possessive her. It, it's. Without apostrophe, sin el apostrophe. Okay? Now, you, your, we, our, they, their. Okay? Teacher, and what is the meaning of that? Okay, as the name says, as the name says, possessive, possession, pertenencia. Okay? So that's why. Whenever you say your name, you say, my name is Yvette. My name is Jocelyn. My name is Jose. My name is Irving. Because it's something that belongs to you. Algo que le pertenece. Okay? Now, if we want to say, si quisiéramos decir, Su nombre es José. ¿Cómo lo diríamos? His name Very is good. José. Very good. Oh. Because it's a, he is a man. Right? But what about if we want to say Yvette? Her name is Yvette. Because she is a woman. Okay, so that's why they have la parejita. Como el verbo to be, lo mismo. Tienen su parejita. Okay. All right, so then let's move. Do you have any question or doubt right now? No? Okay, let's move. So we have examples. It is my bag. My bag. Yes, it is my bag. Or it's my bag. Contractions. Okay. Help us reading the second one, Yvette. Read the sentences. It is your watch. Or, or, it, or it's your watch. Perfect. It is your watch or it's your watch. Next, Irvin. It is book or it's in book. Okay. It is his book or it's his book. Mm -hmm. Correct. Next, um, Brian. It is her car or it's her car. Perfect. It is her car, her, a woman, okay, or it's her car, contraction, okay. Next, uh, Marco. It is their house or it's her house. Okay, repeat after me and say their There. Perfect. It is their house or it's their house. So their, ellos, the ellos. Okay. Esa es su casa de ellos. If we want to say que esta es nuestra clase, como diríamos, nuestra. This is our class. This is our class. Our. Because for we, we use our. See? Very good. Okay. Questions. Preguntas. Questions. No? Okay. Send me one sentence. Send me one sentence here in the chat, in the chat, using 
possessive adjectives. Send me one sentence. Mándeme una oración. This is my dog, okay? Okay, Brian, just remember, Brian, you should use capital letter at the beginning of the sentence and you should use period, okay? Recuerde que siempre la letra mayúscula al principio de una oración y el punto y final para eh, hacer saber que su oración ha terminado. Si no, es incorrecto. But very good. This is my dog. My last name is Francisco. Capital letter. Letra mayúscula. La M tiene que ir en mayúscula. It is my house. He is my dad. Okay. Okay. I'm missing some of you. Me faltan algunos. I'm missing Erica. I'm missing Jose. Okay. Me faltan. Jose, Erika, let me see, Jocelyn, it, he is my brother, okay, he is my brother, it's my computer, okay, Jocelyn, si es su hermano, no podemos utilizar it, porque it es para objetos o animales, y su hermano es una persona. Entonces vamos a decir, he is my brother. Como es un niño, entonces utilizamos he. Because your brother is a boy. It is my bedroom. Okay, Jose. On that one, just don't forget the apostrophe um, before s. It is, right? So it's my bedroom. It is my car, okay, Marco? Oh, he is my brother, like this. He is my brother. Let me send it like that. He is my brother, like that, Jocelyn. He, the subject, el sujeto es él. El possessive adjective is my. The possessive adjective is my, okay? All right, so let's stop for a minute because I, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, say present. Um, Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Present. Thank you. Christian Marcelo Ramirez Moran. Christian is not here, okay. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Okay, Eric Alexander Escalante Barrias. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Okay, Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. José Enrique Cieleazar Alas. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Present. Thank you. Kelvin Omar Martinez Ramirez. Kelvin. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. 
Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Zuleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Okay, thank you. So let's continue. Okay, let's continue and let's move to the following. Okay, let's choose the correct possessive adjective. Okay, so we have the name Peter. Therefore, it's going to be his apple because Peter is a boy. Now, if we have Sally, which is the possessive adjective. I think it's, it's because there are things. Oh, but we have the name Sally. Sally. In this case, uh, the name is uh, are a woman. So yes. it's hair. Hair computer. Correct. Hair computer because we have Sally. Okay. What about if we have John and Sam? Which is the possessive adjective? Yes. Tanya? Better. There. There, because John and Sam, both, right? Two, they. So the possessive adjective is there. Very good. What about once again, we have Sally? Which is the possessive adjective? It. It is. It is. Okay. But if we have Sally in this case, it is, which is the possessive adjective of it? There is. It's, right? Let's go back. It's an animal. It and the possessive adjective, it's. Okay. Remember, the possessive adjective. Okay, so now we have Sally again, but this is a woman. Estamos diciendo que esto es de Sally. Here is Sally. Okay, hair. Hair because it's de hair. ella. De ella, okay? So hair, yes. Now, what about this one? Sally again. It is his Sally. Okay, but in this case, we are not saying that it is. Remember that in this case, esta es la familia de Sally. So if Bello. we have a woman, we are going to use, si tenemos a una, al nombre de una mujer, vamos a poner. ¿Cuál es el posesivo? Uh, hair. 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 Yeah. Hair. Mm -hmm. Remember that you need to focus, se tiene que enfocar en el nombre. ¿Sí? En el nombre. Sally, so the possessive adjective is hair. Ya vamos a ver más adelante eh, oraciones completas. En este momento solo quiero que identifique el posesivo. De, acu de acuerdo al nombre que está bien. Ok, yes. So, Peter. Peter. His. His. Very good. Sally again. Here. Here. Yes. John and Sam. Uh -huh. Here. Here. And Here. Peter. His. His. Okay, very good. All right, so now, now let's see these examples. Okay, as you can see right here, we have the same information that we covered before. Tenemos lo mismo que ya vimos antes. Okay, so we have I, my, you, your, he, his, she, 
hair. It, its. We, our. They, their. But we also have possessive nouns. Teacher, that is different. Eso es diferente un poquito a esto. Pero no es difícil. Fíjense bien, ponga atención aquí. It says, our teacher's name is Isamar. So, el nombre de nuestro o nuestra maestra es, y lo dice. Pero aquí estamos haciendo possessive nouns. When we use possessive nouns, we add the apostrophe in el noun. You need to know that noun, in this case, could be teacher, Pedro, Melissa, Dora, Ana, whatever noun, cualquier nombre. Okay, so our teacher's name is, aquí le hace falta is, okay, para hacer una oración completa. Our teacher's name is Isamar. Pedro's address. Y aquí dice la dirección de Pedro. Melissa and Dora's last name. So, ¿qué era last name? The last name is, for example, in this case, Yvette, your last name, Aquino. Ok. Last name. So, uh -huh. su apellido. Ok, José. Then, Melissa and Dora's last name. Now, um, if we want to say, if we want to say, el nombre de mi mamá es possession, ¿ok? Indica el, el, la posesión, el nombre de su mamá. Su mamá tiene un nombre de ella. So, in this case, we are going to say, my mom's apostrophe es My mom's name is Sandra. My mom's name is Sofia. My mom's name is Berta. Okay? Whatever name. And then we have my dad's name is el nombre de mi papá. But my dad's name is Juan. My dad's name is Roberto. My best friend's name is. Best friend's name is Susana. My best friend's name is Carlos. Jose and Brian's names are. Or in this case, Jose and Brian's second names are. Mm, Rodrigo and Manuel. Okay. Then we have my mom's computer, my boss computer, my sister's shoes. If you want to say, si usted quisiera decir la computadora de mi mamá, ¿cómo lo diría? My mom's computer. If you want to say el libro de Pablo, ¿Cómo diría usted el libro de Pablo? Uh -huh. Pablo's books. Pablo's book. Exactly. And what we need to be careful with, con lo que tenemos que ser bien cuidadosos, you need to be careful with, because sometimes when we are learning English, we tend to make this mistake. Nosotros siempre cometemos ese error cuando empezamos a aprender el idioma. For example, la computadora de mi mamá. The computer of my mom. Así decimos por vez. The computer of my mom. But that is not correct. 
Es por eso que existe lo que estamos viendo. My mom's computer. Esa es la forma correcta de decir la computadora de mi mamá. Ok, esto, this is, this is a mistake. This is not correct. Ok. Do you have questions? Ok, then. Do you have questions? Primero, yeah. eh, primero, por lo que veo es el sujeto y después de quién se habla, la pertenencia en inglés. Correct. Pregunto porque me voy conectando, tuve problemas. Ah, ok, Franklin, don't worry. But yes, in this case, first is the subject, apostrophe, S, and then the object. Mm -hmm. For example, if you want to say, um, la cama de, de Juan. How do you say cama? Bed. Bed. Mm -hmm. So, la cama de Bed. Juan. Juan's bed. Yes. And that's pretty much, it's really easy. It's not difficult. It's really easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are possessive nouns. Remember that, possessive nouns. But we also have possessive adjectives. Okay, for example, your name, your name is Franklin. Your. Okay, possession. Ese es su nombre. Okay. His name is Johnny. Okay. Her name is Suleima. And then. Our names, our names, and I can mention Brian. Our names are Brian, Yvette, Franklin, Johnny, Marco, Suleima, Erika, Erben, Tanya. All of you, right? All of you. Jocelyn, all of you. Nuestros, possession. Okay. Questions so far? Not right now. So then let's move. And let's see, we have, what's my name? Contraction, WH. WH questions. What's my name? My name is Isamar. What's your name? What's your name, Irving? Your second name, in this case. What's your second name? My, name, my second name is Francisco. Very good. You, uh -huh, exactly. Your second name is Francisco. Um, Tania, what's his second name? Refiriéndome a Francisco. Irving Francisco. What's his second name? De Irving. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Don't worry, okay? Then let's see. Once again, Irving, what's your second name? My second name is Francisco. Okay, Tania, what's his second name? Uh, his second name? Vanessa? No, is Vanessa? His, his is Vanessa? second name is Francisco. Recordemos, okay, let's remember. We cannot use his con, con, uh, with a woman. No podemos utilizar his con una mujer, con, con, sí, con una mujer, con un nombre de una mujer o una niña. Porque his es para boy, es para niño. Ok. 
Entonces, si decimos, le preguntamos a Irving, what's your second name? Irving said, my second name is Francisco. So, his second name is Francisco. Su segundo nombre es Francisco. His, de él. Now, what's your second name, Michael? My second name is Ruben. Suleima, what's his second name? My second name is Guadalupe. Oh, but I'm asking you about Marco. What's huh? his? What his? I think that the uh, Sorry, uh, his second name is Ruben. Yes, thank you, Suleima. Very good. Now, Suleima, yes. What's your second name? My second name is Guadalupe. Guadalupe, okay. Erika, what's her second name? Uh, her name, uh, her, her second, second name? name is Guadalupe. Very good, okay. So, you see, that's how we can use possessive adjectives. Okay, then let's see. We have three exercises. The first one, where, what is the meaning of where? Where means donde, donde. Where is, which is the possessive adjective that we should add? My. What is my classroom? Yes. Okay. But now look at this. Okay. Something that I um that I said on the previous class, algo que les mencioné en la, en la, en la, en la clase anterior, es de que siempre tenemos que ver la respuesta, porque de la respuesta depende mucho lo primero. And on the answer, aquí en la respuesta, tenemos we. We can't find it. No podemos encontrarlo. Y tenemos el sujeto que es we. This is the subject. So, which is the possessive adjective that we should add? ¿Cuál sería entonces el possessive adjective? Where is oh. our classroom? Correct. Where is our classroom? Mm -hmm. oh. Like that. Where is our classroom? We can find it. We can't. So we, nosotros. Okay. Now, Susan, is that is S tu lapicero? Susan, is that your your hand on the table? Okay, very good. And then number three. What is, look at the, at the answer. My name is Thomas. So what is his name? Okay, but in this case, es una pregunta directa a alguien. So what is your name? Es como que le pregunte a usted, what is your name? Usted dice, my name is, right? Mire la, pre, la respuesta. De la respuesta depende mucho la pregunta. Ok. Aquí dice, my name is Thomas. So, what is your name? My name is Erika. My name is Johnny. My name is Erben. And so on. Ok. Ok, yo sé. Right. So, then, let's see. Let's move. And now let's practice again. Number one. She is from Russia. She is from Russia. His name. 
Uh, but if we are talking about she. Hair, sorry. Hair. Yes, hair. Number two, I'm Japanese. My parents. My, my parents are from Japan. Very good. What about number three? He isn't from China. He's. Mm -hmm. His family, His family from is Vietnam. from Vietnam. Number four, you are from Italy. Your name Your... is Mario. Yes. Okay. They are from Greece. Their names are. Process and Kimis. and Kimis. Okay, very good. We are English. <laughs> Our parents are from London. Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you see, very easy. It's not difficult. Easy. Right? Questions. No? Doubts, dudas. No right now? Okay, let's move. Now we are going to complete the dialogue below between two students, Carlo and Anita. Carlo is a new student. It's his first day. Okay, so we have, what is your name? Carlo? My name is Carlos. I'm yes. from Italy. Perfect. Anita? Nice to meet you, Carlo. I'm Anita. Welcome to? What do you think? Nuestra. Welcome our. to our. our. Yes. Welcome to our English class. Carlo, who are? ¿Quiénes son ellos? Who? WH question. Who? ¿Quién? O ¿Quiénes? Okay. So, who are? ¿Quiénes son ellos? They. Who are they? They. they? they are students. Students. Carlos, what are possessive of they? Your name? No. Possessive of they. What? Here, who are they? They are a student. What, what are, are their names? What are their names? Anita, possessive of they, again. Their. Their names are Pablo and Maria. Very good. Carlo, how old is Pablo? Look at this. How old is Pablo? Okay. ¿Qué edad tiene Pablo? How old is Pablo? ¿Cuántos años tiene Pablo? I think, think, pensar. I yes. think, uh-huh. He is, he is, is about, about 30. 30. 30. Okay. And where is Maria from? He is from Spain. She is from Spain. He home to is Madrid. Mm, he, his or her? Her. Her is Maria, right? Come to Madrid. Yes. And who is that man? Quien es ese hombre? Who? Who is that man? He is? Mm -hmm. My 
English teacher. Mm -hmm. My. And then, possessive of he. His. His name is John. His name. His name is John. Su nombre es John. His. Okay. So now, let's move. And you have the answers right there. You have the answers. Okay. So now, before we move to practice, because we are going to practice speaking, you are going to practice with the dialogue. So a tip. Okay. If you are talking about your age, this is hablando de su edad, age, edad. Okay. So if I ask you, si yo le pregunto, how old are you? How old are you? I'm asking you cuántos años tiene. How old are you? ¿Y cómo va a responder usted? I am 18 years old. 18. I am 19 years old. 19. ¿Ok? Si no sabe cómo se dice el número, pregunte. Vamos a ver los números eh, el día de mañana. Ese es solo un tip para que usted vaya sabiendo las preguntas que son WH, que son ya formuladas y son preguntas abiertas, las open questions. Okay? Erwin, how old are you? I am 22 years old. Years old. Perfect. Okay. I am. Okay. How old are you? How old are you? Okay, so what we are going to do is that we are going to practice this dialogue. I'm going to send you to different breakout rooms and you are going to practice with your partner. Okay, so one is going to be Anita and the other one is going to be Carlo. One Anita, Carlo. Anita, Carlo, okay, with your partner. So bless you, okay. Let's see. Um, open the, the class. Open the class, abra la clase, váyase ahí a, a, a la clase y ábralo para que pueda practicar el diálogo con su compañero. Ok. So here we go. I'm going to create the breakout rooms right now. Give me one second. Ok. There you go. Okay, Suleyma, you are going to practice with me. Let me see. Okay. Yes. Okay, Tinda, Brian, you should go to room one with Erica. Mm -hmm. Sería Carlos o... Oh, I'm, I'm going to be... You You can be Anita and and me, Carlo, right now. And okay. then you, Anita, and, and, and me, Carlo. Brian? Sorry, Suleyma, give me one second. Brian? I think that he's having issues with the internet. Creo que tiene problemas con el internet. Sí, me está fallando también a mí. No sé. Sí. Ya se me ha salido como dos veces, se me salió. Y está lloviendo. ¿Is it raining? No, no. No, it's not no es que se había ido la luz. Okay. All right. So, let's see. Well, Okay, let's let's practice. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to I'm going to try to move Brian. Mm -hmm. Let me see if Brian get it. No. Hi, Jocelyn. Okay, so. You start. Go. You start. Okay. 
Usted comienza. What is your name? My name is Carlo. I'm from Italy. Nice to meet you, Carlos. I'm Anita. Well, welcome to our English class. Who are they? They are a student. What are their names? Their names are Pablo and Maria. Oh, how old is Pablo? I think he is about 30. Yes. And where is Maria from? Jay is from Spain. Oh, repeat after me. She? 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 She. She. She is from Spain. She is from Spain. Her hometown her is Madrid. Okay, hometown. Hometown. Yes, is Madrid. Okay. And who is that man? He has her English teacher. His name is John. Okay. Yes, he is her English teacher. His name is John. Okay. Ok, perfecto. Now, let's switch. Vamos a cambiar. Usted, yo, yo soy Anita y usted es Carlos. Okay? ok. What is your name? My name is Carlos. I'm from Italy. Nice to meet you, Carlos. I'm Anita. Welcome to our English class. Who are they? They are students. What are their names? Their names are Pablo and Maria. Who is Pablo? I think he is about 30. And where is Maria from? She is from Spain. Her hometown is Madrid. And who is that man? He is her English teacher. His name is John. Okay. okay. Very good. Now I'm going to move you to a different room so you can practice with somebody else, okay? Okay. Bye. Okay. There you go. Okay. Did you finish? Ahora soy yo, um, Anita. Okay. Ya, ya lo practicamos una vez. Okay. Go again. Una nueva vez. Ok. Ok. What, what is your name? My name is Carlos. I'm from Italy. Nice to meet you, Carlos. I am Anita. Welcome to our English class. Who are they? Who? Who? They are students. Who? 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 are they? Yes. Who are they? Mm -hmm. They are students. Okay. What are their names? Their names um, are Pablo and Maria. Mm -hmm. How old is Pablo? Mm -hmm. um, I think there is about 30. Again, um, Jocelyn. De nuevo, Jocelyn, porque no se le escuchó. Okay. I I think there is about and where is Maria from? Mm -hmm. She is from Spain. Spain. Er, Omnium is Madrid. 
And who is that man? And who is that man? Is her English teacher? His name is John. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank now, you. yes, thank you. Now, let's go to the spreadsheet. Let's go here. And you are going to open this link. The one that says a spelling time. Open it. Open that link. Open that link. Okay. Open it. Okay. Open that one. Mm -hmm. And let me see. Give me one second. I'm going to share my screen so you can see it. Okay. And once you open that link, you will see this. You will see this. Okay. Va a ver esto. You will see this. And what you are going to do. What you are going to do, you are going to click whatever number you want, okay? El, nombre que, el número que usted quiera, whatever number, el que quiera. Okay, for example, four. And you are going to spell it, okay? One Erika, one Jocelyn. Lo va a deletrear. For example, Erika, spell that word. <coughs> Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spell it. Deletrelo. Mm -hmm. Ready and... W R I N D O W. Perfect. And then one Jocelyn. Jocelyn, which number do you want? Um, six. Six. Okay. Jocelyn, spell daughter. Spell it. Okay. D A O mm -hmm. U mm -hmm. um. Yes, U how do you say he, teacher? Pregúnteme. How do you say he? How do you say he, teacher? G. 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 H. T. E. R. 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 Okay, R. Okay, then, okay. yes, then Erika and so on, así, okay? So, Erika, if you, if you are able to share the screen, no sé si puede compartir la pantalla, una de las dos, para que estén viendo. Eh, es que estoy conectada del, del, del celular. celular. Ah, verdad. okay, but, but you can go and open it. Lo puede abrir ahí. Okay, lo puede abrir ahí. Okay. Yes. Ambas, ok. Las dos ábranlo ahí en el celular. Si sí, están en el celular. Ok. Ahí lo pueden ir viendo. Y se dicen los números que quieren, ok. Ok. And then you okay. open that number and you practice um, spelling. Ok. Eh, disculpe, teacher, ¿en qué idioma estaba, perdón? I'm sorry. Eh, en el link donde podemos encontrarlo. Ah, yes. Ok, ya se lo, ahorita se lo mando. Ok. Eh, le voy a pasar el link de un solo aquí, para que no se vayan a la hoja, para que no tengan que abrirla. Ahí está el link. Ese es el link directo. Ah, de, 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 yeah. Ok, continue, continue. Okay, let, me, let me go to the next room. Thank you. Ah, ok. Yes.
Okay, let me see. I'm going. Thank you. Okay, you. Hola, teacher. Yeah. Well, hi. Tenemos, bueno, yo tengo una duda. Yes. En la, en la última, en la última de Anita. Yes. Porque la pregunta, Carlos pregunta, ¿quién es ese hombre? Uh -huh. Pero porque dice, he's here, here eh, cuando, cuando estábamos hablando de las respuestas. Yes. Dijimos que era, he's here, English teacher. Yes. Because um, he is her English teacher. Es el eh, profesor de Anita. Pero her que no era para, o para, para mm -hmm. ella. Yes. Vaya, pero ¿y por qué pregunta quién es ese hombre? Es el profesor de ella. Oh, ya, ya entendí, entendí. Uh -huh. Yo pensé que estaba hablando como él y ella. Ajá. Ah, como, yeah. Es que no sé cómo me confundí ahí. Yes, I pensé know. Que, ajá, pensé que estaba hablando como que él era ella. Yo como que... What? <risa> no, ok. So, ¿Quién es ese hombre? Le dice. Es el profesor de ella. De Anita. Entonces, y así la... Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, sí entendí. Ok. Thank you. All right. So now, let's open this link, the one that I sent in the chat. Le mandé el link en el chat. Okay, let's, Yes, let's open that link. Let's open that link. Esa es otra reunión. No. Uh, uh, oh. No, sorry, that one, no. Let me see. Uh, the world, uh, give me one second. Give me one second. I'm going to copy the link again. Okay, this one. The World World Nets. Okay. That one. The first one. Yeah. Okay, so you need to open that link and you will see this, this page. Let me share it with you. A sleeping time. A spelling time. A spelling time. Yes. Okay. So what you are going to do is that you are going to practice the spelling. Okay. So you mm -hmm. need to choose, for example, uh, choose a number, Franklin. Uh, perdón. Uh, oh, no. oh choose está. a number. Mm -hmm. uh, number uh, seven. No, no, no. Seven? No. 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 Mm -hmm. And uh, el 21. 21? We don't have 21. This is 20. Uh, 20. Oh, 20. 20? Okay. So 20. Okay. Spell garage. Right. A garage. No, no sé qué es lo que quiere. Que okay. Concluye, okay. Okay. Don't eh, worry. Que, que, que deletríes. Okay. Oh, perdón, perdón, perdón. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, G. G. A. A. R. R. A. A. J. G. 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 E. Eight. Uh, a no e. E, e yes okay so i need you to practice with this okay so okay. one of you share the screen si uno de ustedes puede compartir la pantalla do it okay please do it in sharing screen is verdad yes and yes share a screen correct uh, compartirla en el donde here. Oh, in the chat? No, here. I think that every you can do it. Oh. Uh -huh. Right? Ya no sé si están viendo. No. Sí. Mm -hmm. Pero sale que ya compartí. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the internet is not good. Um, do it again. Hágalo de nuevo. Deja de compartir y, y vuelva a compartir. Ok. Mm. 
Share a screen. Y ahí le doy, pero no, no, no sé por qué no. No deja. And you, Franklin? En lo mismo estoy. Eh, trato de compartir, pero no. Hold. Hold. No, no me deja compartir. Solo me dice que el anfitrión habilitó la función compartir las pantallas de los participantes, pero le doy a aceptar y nada. Ok, let me see. Ok, so let's do something. Then, since you, you already have the link, what you should do is that you need to pick one number, ok, and then you are going to tell the word. Lo que va a hacer es que le va a decir el número a su compañero de la palabra que va a deletrear. Ok. okay. And, and so on, okay? All right, so let me go to the next room. Voy a ir al siguiente eh, salón para ver si necesitan mi ayuda, okay? I'll be back. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Entre más fuerte hable, más se le va quedando. Okay. So... Guys, let's practice spelling. Let's practice spelling. Okay, uh, Johnny, choose a number. What? Repeat, please. Yes, choose a number. Elija un número. A number. Ah, okay, uh, 11. 11, okay. Johnny, spell dining room. Spell. Dining room. Spell. Spell. Spelling. What's spell? Spell. Spelling. Okay. Um. I don't know. Okay. Dining room. Don't No, but a spelling. Oh. Spelling. Spell, for example. For example, we have window, W-I-N-D-O-W. -W. Now you, dining room. Oh. Yeah, I got it. Okay. And... D. D. A. No. B. No. E. No. No. <laughs> B. I. Okay. I. Okay. I. I. Okay. D. I. N. 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 I. N. G. R. O, O, M. All right. Like that. Okay. So I want you to okay. practice with this, um, with this link. Okay. I'm going to send it here. Practice with, the, with this link. The same thing that we just did with Johnny. Lo mismo que hicimos con Johnny. Okay. Uh, pick a number. Eligen un número y lo deletrean. Okay. En el link que les mandé en el, ahorita aquí en el, en el grupo. Ahí está en el chat. Ábralo. Ok. Ok, continue. Let me see if the other, uh, if the other team needs help. Ok, voy a ir al otro, al otro salón para ver si necesitan mi ayuda. Si necesita ayuda, me dice. Ok. Okay, so now let's move, let's move and let's practice spelling. Let's practice spelling. I need to open the link that says spelling time. Spelling time. Okay, so let's see. You are going to spell all of those words. All of those words. Okay, you are going to practice together. So. Uh, Marco, you choose a number, then Tanya choose a number, and Brian choose a number, okay? And you should practice all of those 
those are 20 words. Open the link. And for example, Tanya, choose a number. What is the meaning of choose? Choose means elegir. Okay. So Marco, usted le dice a Tanya. Tanya, choose a number. Elija un número. Choose a number. En Tanya, usted elige un número. Lo ven, qué número es. Y empieza a deletrear. And then you, Tanya, le hace la pregunta a Marco. Yes. And then eh, Marco a Brian. And then Brian a Tanya. And así. Hasta terminar la 20. Ok. Let's, um, let's do one together. Ok. Vamos a hacer una. Eh, Brian, choose a number. Eh, um, maybe. Which one? Eight. Yeah. Ten. Ten? Okay. Okay, Brian, spell this word. Oh, no. B E D R O O M. Okay. Remember, this one is R. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, and then Tanya, and then Marco, like that, okay? Continue with that, please. And once you are done with this, cuando se termina esto, okay, I need to go here and you need to open this one, the verb to be quiz. First this one and then the second one. Primero es y después el otro. Okay. Let me go to the next room. Déjenme ir al siguiente grupo para ver si tienen preguntas. Do you have questions? ¿Tienen preguntas en este momento? No. Okay, perfect. Let me go with... Let me see, Erica. Okay. Okay, so did you finish? ¿Terminamos? Or no? Okay. Uh, ahí me faltaba la última. Ah, okay, Jocelyn, which one? What, Jocelyn? Thank you. Uh, creative. 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 Okay, so let's see. Number one, Jocelyn, spell balcony. Repeat after me, balcony. Balcony. Okay, Erica, balcony. B-A-L-C-O-N-Y. Thank you. Jocelyn, number two, creative. C R R E R C R E A T I B E. Thank you. Erica, number three, living room. L I B. How do you spell B? B. B. Yes. B. B I N G R O O M. Perfect. Jocelyn, number five. Mother. M O T A E R. Perfect. R. Okay. okay. Erica, seven. Kitchen. Kitchen. K. Yes. I T T H. E -M. Perfect. Let's see. Um, Jocelyn, number eight, bathroom. Okay. B A T H R O O M. Okay. Erica, can you spell number nine, handsome? Um, 
H A N D S O M E. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go and you need to move to verb to be quiz. Verb to be quiz. Open that one. Open mm -hmm. that one and complete it. Okay? Complete it. And let me move closer because, okay, acaba de entrar. Okay, verb to be quiz. Verb to be quiz. Open that one and you need to resolve it. Lo tiene que resolver. Okay? Okay. All right. So, si necesita ayuda, me dice. If you need help, ask. Okay, raise your hand and ask. I'm going to the next room, so I'm going to see if they need help. Okay? Give me one second. Let me see the other room. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Está bonito. Está bonito. Okay, did you finish? Yeah. Yes? Okay, so let's see. Let's um let's see if you already finished. And let's see. Give me one second. I'm going to open the, the spelling quiz. And right now I'm going to see if you have practice, okay? So choose a number. Well, no, I'm going to choose a number for you, 16. Okay, Yvette, spell balcony. Um, B, I, L, C, O, N, Y. Okay, so how do you say this letter a a very good okay Yvette. okay so sulaima garden um night oh uh, garden <laughs> a g a r d e m perfect okay johnny daughter daughter d a o g H T E R. Mm, how do you say this this letter? This vowel? Oh. No. Oh. No. No. O is O. You, 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 you. You, Johnny. Okay. I remember you. Yes, okay. <laughs> Yvette, spell delicious. Delicious. <laughs> D E L L A no. A no. I I I C I I U No No U S U O O U S <laughs> Very good. Okay. Hmm. Johnny, yeah, kitchen. Okay. Kitchen. K I T C H I N. Mm -hmm. E N. E N. Yes. Okay, Johnny. Okay. Suleima, yeah. bedroom. Bedroom. B E D R O O M. Yes. Okay, so now let's open this link. Verb to be quiz. Verb to be quiz and you need to resolve it, okay? You need to resolve it. Verb to be quiz. Open that link. Open it. And you, okay. you need to resolve it together, okay? Resolve it together. Okay, go. If you have questions, ask. But I'm going to the next room to see if they need help. Okay, give me one second. Um, M N. You finish? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Jose, acaba de unir. Ahorita estamos practicando con él. Ah, right, perfect. Okay. Ya regresé, okay. Gracias por eso. Right. Okay, Jose. Jose, spell funny. Spell funny and F. U N N Y Y okay um 
Franklin, spell dining room. Uh, D, uh, D, uh, I, mm -hmm. N, I, in, N, perdón, mm -hmm. G, mm -hmm. R, mm -hmm. O, R, no, R, 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 O, O, M. Mm -hmm. Very good. Erebin, spell window. Window W A M D O W. This one. Which letter is this? I. Yes, very good. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, don't worry. Host and mother. M O T T H E R. Very good. Okay. The last one, the last round, Franklin bathroom. Bathroom. Uh, B A T A H R R. No. R O O M. Yes, okay. The last round, Erwin, handsome. Handsome. H A M D S O M E. Very good. Okay, you are an expert already, Erwin. <laughs> okay, so Jose, the last round, living room. <laughs> L I B I N G R O O N. Yes, perfect. Okay. So now I need you to resolve this quiz together. Go to the spreadsheet and open verb to be quiz. Verb to be quiz. The... Resolve it, verb to be quiz, resolve it, and I'll call you back within around five minutes, okay? Resolve it oh. together. Let me see the other the other teams, okay? Let me see the other rooms if they need help. Right now, um, resolve it. Resolve it, and I'll come okay. back, okay? Let me see. On the dice verb to be quiz. Yes. Okay. Yes, verb to be quiz. Mm -hmm. Uno lo tiene que llenar aquí en el juego. Yes, resolve it together. Yeah, you three. Okay. Together, okay? Juntos. Uh, yes. Ah, juntos. Yes. Yes. Me sale where, where, are, where are el you espacio from? you from? Where are you from? It's yes. this. Is. And where this. is? How are, are you? Are. No, are you this B? Oh, yes. Okay, continue. Okay, continue. If you have questions, ask. But right now, oh. try to resolve it together, and then I'm going to call you back. Okay. Okay. And and or, or. Okay. D A U G. Uh, H T T E R. Okay. Did you finish the spelling time? Marco, spell dining room. Uh, uh, D A mm -hmm. N uh, how do you say mm -hmm. I, 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 N, I, N, G, R, O, O, M. Yes. Uh, Brian, spell daughter. Daughter, uh, D, A, U, G. H T 
they are. Yes. Uh, Tania is pale garden. Uh, G A R D I N. How do e. you say E? Okay. E Tania is pale your second name. Spell your second name. Uh, your second name. Your first name, Tanya, is Tanya, right? And your second name? Uh, my name is second name, Vanessa. My second name is Vanessa. My, my second name is Vanessa. Spell Vanessa? Spell. Don't understand. Okay, Tanya. We were doing the same. I, I, I told you a spell garden and you did G-A-R-D-E-N. So now a spell Vanessa. Ah. Uh, a B. Mm -hmm. A. Mm -hmm. N E S S A. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now let's move and let's go to the verb to be quiz. Did you complete this one? No, no. Okay, complete this one. Okay, complete this one, please. The verb to be quiz. Okay. Complete that one together. Together. If you have questions, ask each other. Okay. Si tienen preguntas. Individual. No. As a team. Como un equipo. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Si tienen preguntas. Eh, y si alguien sabe, pues eh, puede compartir la opinión. Okay. Okay. All right. Go. Go. Let me go to the next room. Okay. Did you finish? Did you finish? Finish. finish. Okay. Did you resolve the quiz? ¿Lo pudieron resolver? Yes. Do you have questions? ¿Tiene preguntas? Yes. Okay. Tell me. Dígame. Or no. You don't have questions. I think that the internet is not good. Creo que el internet está como un poco lento. Ah, sí. ¿Verdad? Okay, don't worry. Okay, so let's let's resolve it together. Okay, so number one. A. Where is you from? Where is you from? Why is, if we have you, Which is the which is the, the verb to be for you? What mm -hmm. are are where are you from? We use so. it for he, she, and it. Are oh. you, we, and they? Where are you from? So are is no. Okay, very good. Number two. How old are your brother? Mm -hmm. Your brother is is a yes. How old is your brother? Is yes. Brother. How old is he? How old is he? Your brother. Okay, your brother. Is it not you? Is this your brother? Okay. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three. Mm -hmm. C M. M. Okay, so am I your student? Why? Because we have the I, subject I. I. 
Number four. I isn't. I isn't. At home, no. Okay. But we have I. Tenemos I. ¿Cuál es la parejita de I? I am not. Okay. I am not. Very good. At I home. Okay. Entonces, sí, right? No I podemos not. decir I is. Okay. What about she? She isn't. She isn't. Very good. Okay. What about this one? They aren't. They aren't. Okay. All right. So let me call you to the main room. La voy a llamar ya a la, a la sesión principal y vamos a seguir discutiendo de eso, okay? Give me one second. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So let's see, I have Erica, Jocelyn. Okay. So Jocelyn is spelled happy. Jocelyn? Well, I think, yeah. Um, well, what is the term to check the jam? Okay. Ahora sí, ahora sí. Okay. Okay. A H E P P Y. Okay, how do you say this in English? This letter? A. A. Very good. A Erica. A spell laundry room. You are you are muted. The microphone. L A U U N D R Y R O O M. Thank you. Very good. Yvette, kitchen. You are muted. It's on mute. No le escuchamos, Ivet. I see. Yes. No, I see. La K. K. C. Yes, yes. I. I. C. C. H. E. M. Okay, very good. Johnny. Creative. You are muted, John. Johnny, we don't, we cannot hear you. Okay, sorry. Okay, create. How do you say? Create. Create. Creative. 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 Okay. C R E I T A B E. Okay, go again, John. Again. Okay. C R E A T 
A, B, E. This one? How do you say this I, one? I, I, I. Okay, very good. I, I, I. Okay, well done. Franklin, leave your hand. L, I, B, I, N, G, R, O, O, M. No. Perfect. Okay, very good. All right, once no. again, the attendance list. Okay, we are going to take attendance. Okay, Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Present. Okay, thank you. Eh, Cristian Marcelo Ramírez Morán. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrillas. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Harrison Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Irvin Francisco Peraza Herrera. Present. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Present. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. Present. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Ebra. Present. Thank you. Kelvin Omar Martínez Ramírez. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. En Tania Vanessa Moreno Navas. Present. Zuleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Okay, so now let's move and let's resolve the quiz together. Okay, well, before resolving it, just Franklin, uh, today we have feedback. Okay, yes, so 10 minutes después, eh, nos quedaremos. Okay, so let's see. Brave to be. Let me open it, and yes. Okay, so let's see, number one. Yes. Is, are you sure? Yes. 100% sure. sure? Okay. So you are going to win $100, are you sure? I sure. You are sure, okay? I sure. Okay, so somebody else. But no, Jose, that is not the answer. Oh, okay. excuse me, it's R. Yes, R, it's R. okay. Why R? Why yes. R? Where, are, where are you from? Where yes. are you from? Because we have you, right? Yes, yeah, so where are you? Are you? Yes. Hmm. Okay, number two. All all is your brother. Okay, very good, Tanya. How old is your brother? Yes, number three. I I your student. Am I your student? Very good. Number four. I am not at home. Not. I am no. not at home now. No. Very good, because we have I, so I'm not. Very good, number five. She isn't a teacher, she's she a student. She isn't a teacher, she's a student. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number six. They are not they my friends. I don't I like them. I don't. Okay, very good. They aren't. 
right. Okay, good. Seven. I am a good student. Mm -hmm. uh, I always get 10 in my test. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Number eight. What is your phone number? Okay, yes. Now let me ask you, and this is a question, okay? Let's see numbers. Um, what is your phone number, Johnny? My phone number is 6192 mm -hmm. 28. Perfect. What is your phone number, Suleyma? Mi número. What is your phone number? Invent. No me lo puedo. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, invent. Dígame uno inventado. Invent. Okay. Seven, seven, three, um, um, seven, eight, mm -hmm. um, twenty two, okay. nineteen. Perfect. Okay, number mm -hmm. nine. They are my. Last month at, at school. At school. Last Yes. How do you say number zero in English? Okay, so you can say zero or you can say O, like the letter O. Como o, o. For example, if your telephone number is, let's say that your telephone number is seven O. Like that, I think two, 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 five, yeah, one, seven. like that. For example, seven, oh, nine, eight, five, six, two, oh. Yes, yes, Jose. And sometimes also address. Yes. Sometimes okay, the address you. as well. Yes, okay, perfect. Let's just finish with the quiz and let's see. Okay. Oh, they are my classmates at school, you said. And the last one, he is happy today. He is happy today. Very good. Okay, so now let's move, let's go to the following. Okay, we have a listening. Tenemos un listening. Okay, we have a listening. Let me share the sound. Pay attention. Okay, trate de escuchar lo más que pueda. Yes, so this listening is about occupations. So we are going to listen to five different people. They are talking about their occupations, and we need to complete the exercises. So we have a speaker A, a speaker B, speaker C, speaker D, a speaker E. So a speaker A works as a, de que trabaja? Work es trabajar, okay? So de que trabaja el hablante A? Lo va a escuchar aquí. No exactamente la profesión, así como bien literal, pero van a explicar a qué se dedica. Entonces usted tiene las options right here. You have tour guide, dentist, pilot, nurse, or shop assistant. So one, two, three, four, five. Cabala cinco para los cinco que vamos a escuchar. Okay, so here we go. Pay attention, preste atención. Okay, pay attention. Let me see. A. 
I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip. But last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform and sometimes I have to work at night. OK. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. The tourists... Okay. So, were you able to get the answers? OK, Brian. Shop assistant, tour guy, dentist, pilot and nurse. OK, very good. What about the other ones? Were you able to get the answers? Los demás? Was it difficult? Is it difficult? Eh, yo solo logré entender de que su amigo y él visitan varios lugares, place. Mm -hmm. eh, imagino que es el asistente shop. Hey. Asistente shop. I work on Saturday. Sorry. Um, Okay, so here we have all the information that they said. Aquí tenemos toda la información que ellos dijeron, okay? Aquí. But what you said, Franklin, was correct. Lo que usted dijo, que escuchó, está bien, okay? So now, la vamos a poner una nueva vez, pero esta vez quiero que vaya leyendo y a la misma vez escuchando, okay? Para que vaya... Dándose cuenta cómo se pronuncia, etc. All right, pronunciation and everything. All right, so let's see. Here we go. Okay. A. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip, but last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. 
it's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform and sometimes I have to work at night. Okay. So now? It was better, maybe, right? Kind of better because you are seeing what they are saying. Okay, ahora sí pudo ver qué estaban diciendo. A pesar que tal vez no sepamos mucho de todo lo que vemos, pero sí empezamos a escuchar diferentes palabras. Okay? So now, before we go, let me ask you, what did we learn today? ¿Qué aprendimos? What did we learn today? Ajá. Uh -huh. Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns and possessive nouns. Okay, give me one example. Spell the words. Okay, A spelling words. Give me one example using possessive adjectives. And very. My yeah. sister, my sister. She is my sister. Okay, another one. Somebody else? Alguien más? Possessive adjectives. Recuerde que de esta clase tiene que resolver su tarea, la tarea de este día. Okay. Do you have questions? Okay. Nos ayuda a saber si usted tiene preguntas. Uh -huh. Another example. Necesito otro ejemplo de alguien más. I like my house. I like my house. Okay. Yes. Very good, Jocelyn. Another one. Mm -hmm. It is my dog. It is my dog. Okay. Very good. Yes. Now, examples using um, possessive nouns. Nouns. Mm -hmm. My sister's name is Rose. My sister's name is Rose. Very good. Excellent. Another one. The last one. El último. Possessive noun. Mm -hmm. Johnny, give us one example. My son is intelligent. My son is intelligent. Okay, that is verb to be. Possessive noun. Um, Marco, one example. Mm -hmm. Possessive noun. Possessive noun. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
possessive noun. My name, eh, perdón, perdón. Eh, my, my house is, is large. Ok. All right, guys. That's why I ask you. Por eso es que le pregunto si tiene preguntas. Ok, cuando usted tenga preguntas, debe de hacerlas. So, remember that we have possessive adjectives and we also have possessive nouns. Ok, for example, Pedro's address. Carla's book, Marco's computer. Ok. Recuerda que tiene su clase. Tiene que apoyarse de su clase. Ok. So, please, eh, termina la tarea 4, eh, que es la tarea de este día. Por favor, la complementa. Si tiene preguntas o dudas, hágala. Ok. Me puede contactar. Y si no tiene ninguna pregunta en ese momento... I'll see you back tomorrow. Lo veo el día de mañana. Gracias por ser responsables y conectarse. Ok. I'll see you back to you. Thank you. It's just Franklin. Thank okay? you, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Ok, Franklin, uh, just allow me one second, ok? Solo denme un segundo. Ok, so Franklin, we are going to have the feedback. Vamos a tener el feedback, ok, con usted. Y primero quiero saber, Franklin, cómo se siente. How, how are you? How do you feel? Ajá, ajá. Uh, pues, me ve en inglés. <laughs> no, o oh, sí. Yes, ajá. Es en inglés, todo, o oh, es normal. Um, ok, vamos a como a entremezclar inglés y español porque sabemos que está comenzando. No se preocupe, ok? Ok. So, yes, how are you? How do you feel? Uh, I have been in the class, it's interactive, and the practice is level is fácil. Is uh, easy? It's easy. Um, um, no sé cómo pronunciar el, el, la facilidad de, de interactuar con otras personas. Ok. Interactuar tipo, uh, no. Ok. No sé. In, ok. Interacting, interacting with people is easy. Es easy. Ok. E, in, in, entonces, interacting se pronuncia como. Interacting, interactive, interactive, yeah, interacting, uh -huh. interacting, okay, is easy, easy, okay, okay, mm, no sé qué más. okay, don't worry, it's okay, okay, perfect, um, muy bien, Franklin, um, bueno, voy a compartir algo de feedback, eh, ya que he observado en estos cuatro días que hemos estado, verdad, en clases, primero, I want to say congratulations, porque en realidad se ve que usted tiene eh, el deseo, ¿verdad? Um, you are willing to learn the language. Usted está dispuesto a, leer, a, a aprender el idioma. Entonces, creo que eso es algo muy bueno de resaltar, ¿verdad? Ya que se nota el interés que usted tiene también de adquirir vocabulario, ¿verdad? Cuando usted no sabe algo, usted pues lo pregunta y usted no tiene pena ni miedo a preguntar. Y eso es muy bueno cuando uno está aprendiendo un idioma. Así que eh, lo puedo yo invitar e incentivar a que lo siga haciendo. Que cada vez que usted tenga una pregunta o una duda, la haga. No importa cuántas veces haga la misma pregunta, pero lo importante es que usted aclare todas sus dudas. ¿Ok? okay. Luego, eh, lo siguiente es que necesito que participemos más. No es que no lo esté haciendo, sino que yo necesito que Franklin sea uno de los primeros en participar siempre. Que no tenga miedo de equivocarse. Si lo dice mal, pues qué bien, porque así aprende. ¿Sí? Ok, ok. Entonces, eh, eso es, pues, es otro feedback, ¿verdad? Para que usted pueda mejorar más rápido. Porque si usted se equivoca muchas veces, así también aprende más rápido. Oh, sí, comprendo. Eh, bien. 
Lo otro, eh, también cuando hemos estado en las, en las, um, en los speaking practices que hacemos con los breakout rooms, que nos vamos a los diferentes salones, usted siempre está participando y eso es muy bueno. ¿Ok? Siempre está tratando de participar y eso es eh, súper bien porque le ayuda bastante a usted. Eh, okay. Veamos, ¿qué más? Tal vez, lo único que tal vez puedo yo eh, mencionar es que a veces nos conectamos un poquitito tarde, pero entiendo que usted pues viene de su trabajo, ¿verdad? O a veces pues le agarra el traje. Sí. Es entendible, ¿sí? Pero cuando tenga la oportunidad de conectarse desde el inicio de la clase, pues sería estupendo, ¿verdad? No, Para que okay. usted, eh, durante toda la clase. Eh, pues por lo demás, creo que va súper bien, ¿verdad? Va poco a poco. Eh, ahora, cuando en cuestión de, de, de cómo vamos desarrollando la clase, ¿le parece bien? Eh, ¿Qué más le gustaría que le incluyéramos? Eh, pues eh, siempre he pensado de que el inglés es algo difícil, ¿verdad? Por la gramática que tiene. Eh, no sé, quizás me gustaría eh, tener como una conversación con alguien de, de básica, como uh -huh. la presentación, lo de los años, que es lo que estamos, hemos estado viendo. Sí. Pero... Como consolidado. Ajá, algo así, para poder, digamos, practicar una presentación. Nada sí. más. Que yo creo que es lo que se nos puede olvidar. Siempre, o sea, a la hora de una presentación, aunque sea básica. Ok, muy bien. Ok, excelente. Vamos a incluir eso entonces. Ahora, eh, con los breakout rooms, ¿cómo se siente con sus compañeros cuando practican? Eh, ¿Se ha sentido bien con esa actividad que los mandamos a los diferentes salones? Eh, pues, la verdad, sí, me parece muy bien porque puedo conocer a los demás compañeros. Y siento que sí estamos como en el mismo nivel, ¿verdad? Porque hay ocasiones que me colocaban con personas a practicar, pero ellos ya venían Un poco con más práctica. Más. Entonces, no lograba ponerme a la altura y como que eso mismo hace que uno mejor no, no practique tanto porque nosotros ya vamos a avanzar. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero okay. En, esta, en esta ocasión sí he sentido que eh, he podido practicar con varios okay. y no he tenido como el problema de, como usted dice, de equivocarme porque yo sé que estamos aprendiendo y todos estamos como en la misma sintonía. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, en ese caso, pues me alegra que se sienta pues cómodo, ¿verdad? En, en sí practicando y que vaya usted pues mejorando al mismo ritmo, que se sienta esa, esa pues tranquilidad que va al mismo ritmo que los demás, ¿verdad? Eh, en cuestión de la plataforma, ¿ha tenido algún inconveniente con la plataforma, con las tareas? ¿Cómo las siente? ¿Las siente difíciles? O, o... Pues no, están bien. No las siento difícil porque es como que lo que vimos, digamos, son las cuatro preguntas, ¿verdad? La, uh -huh. Las que nos hacen. Entonces, yo lo que he estado haciendo es ver los ejemplos de la clase para poder responder, obviamente, ¿verdad? Para sí. un pequeño repaso. No las siento tan difícil que se diga. Ok. ¿Y en, no las sintió difíciles estas que pasaron o no las sintió tan difíciles? Las tareas anteriores de la 1 a la 3, ¿verdad? Sí. No, ¿verdad? Eh, quizás es como de tener como más atención quizás a la hora de la clase sí. para tener como una retentiva. Ok. Perfect. Ahora, ¿tiene alguna pregunta de algún tema? que le esté costando, que usted sienta que, que no comprende? Eh, más que todo, bueno, yo creo que los, los verbos, pero, no los verbos, perdón, ¿cómo se le llama esto? Los, las palabras en inglés, digamos. ¿Los pronombres? Hay muchas, no. No, no sería por nombres. Eh, en las otras clases que he recibido le dicen eh, como verbos. Los pero verbos. Para okay. mejorar el léxico, algo así, o tener más, más repertorio. Sí, en realidad, eso lo vamos a comenzar a ver el día de mañana, los verbos, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, eso ya empezamos con ello, ¿verdad? Y no se preocupe que poco a poco vamos avanzando. 
y este, lo importante es que usted pues ponga de su parte porque cuando ya empezamos a ver los verbos es un poco más extenso el vocabulario y por ende pues es más complicado en el sentido de que tiene que estudiar un poquito más, ¿verdad? Sí, Entonces, claro. Pero eso sí se va a eh, hacer a partir del día de mañana que empezamos con los verbos. Eh, empezamos okay. con el presente simple. Uh -huh. Ok, sí. de ahí por lo demás me parece bien, me parece bien la, la clase, okay. la verdad porque eh, no me queda tiempo casi ya para poder salir y por lo menos este fin de semana me tocó trabajar seis domingo, entonces es por eso es que no me logro inscribir a una clase presencial. Bro. Sí, comprendo Franklin, pero bueno, da gusto que esté aquí en el curso, ¿verdad? ya que okay. pues, eh, nos encanta que tengamos alumnos como usted que quieren aprender el idioma, ¿ok? Ok. Ay, perfecto, Franklin. Bueno. Entonces, pues vamos a dejar hasta aquí el feedback. And I'll see you back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Ok. Ok. Bueno, right. pues. So have a good night. Good, good night. Bye. Ok, good night.